This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang. Dozens of Bay Harbor Island residents now have to find a new place to live after their building was deemed unsafe. The evacuated building is on 1080 93rd Street. The 56 year old building had been cited by officials in the past. A recent inspection showed significant structural defects. The town of Bay Harbor Island says the building's court ordered was received, and several charitable organizations are providing support to displaced residents and their pets. Miami police investigating a deadly triple shooting that happened last night in the area of Northwest 10th Avenue and 46th Street. One of the victims died. The other two were taken to the hospital. Police tell us one of those three men may actually be a suspect in all of this. They say two other men ran from the scene. Anyone with information asked to call police. Miami-Dade School Superintendent Alberto Carvalho tells state officials the county will be staying with its mass mandate. We believe that the actions of this board comply with both the constitutional provisions as well as state statute by guaranteeing a safe, secure, and healthy environment for both our students as well as the workforce. That's what Carvalho says. The school board wrote in a letter to the Florida Education Commissioner explaining why they issued the mandate despite the governor's executive order banning such mandates. Carvalho says despite the threat of sanctions they're now facing, the board will not reverse the mass mandate. The judge presiding over the trial for confessed Parkland school shooter Nicholas Cruz is mulling some important decisions concerning the trial. Lawyers for Cruz yesterday asked the judge to ban prosecutors and witnesses from referring to Cruz with any inflammatory words like killer or animal. They also don't want the shooting referred to as a massacre or any other similar terms. The attorney says that death penalty cases require stricter standards because the verdict and sentence must be decided without prejudice. The prosecutor argued Cruz himself has used some of the terms. His lawyers want banned when speaking about himself. The judge said she would rule by tomorrow. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Thursday morning, waking up with some clouds and mainly dry. And as we head into the afternoon, those storms will develop some could turn strong highs in the low 90s, feeling like the hundreds when you factor in the high humidity. And tomorrow will be a repeat as we have plenty of moisture into the weekend. Scattered storms will be possible. Here's a look at the remnants of Ida, which has caused some major flooding issues across the mid Atlantic, Northeast, and New England areas. And Severe weather tornado spawn too. Hurricane Larry is out in the eastern Atlantic and it is moving west at 20 miles an hour. Forecasts to strengthen and become a major category three hurricane as we head into the weekend and then eventually possibly a cap four going into early next week as it turns towards the northwest and the west northwest. For now, it appears not to be a threat for South Florida and remaining over the open waters of the central Atlantic. But of course, we'll be watching it. Back to you, Francis. Well said, thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.